In this video, we continue modeling our steel hull by creating the first two-dimensional frame. Let's start immediately and insert the top node of the duopitch roof. We click on the new node icon, enter the desired coordinates and confirm the entry by clicking OK. Next, we create the left roof beam with the taper on the left at the member start. To do this, we click on new single member. Now, we come across the next innovation of RFEM 6. When defining the member properties, it is also possible to create a taper or an offset at one or both ends at the same time. Let's go to the section tab and select the tapered at start of member option in the section distribution area. Now we can also enter the length of the taper in meters or as a percentage. Below we also change the alignment by selecting the top option. In the section with material area, we will now define the respective sections for the member start and the rest of the member. We click on the import from section library icon and in the new dialog box we click on parametric I sections to become familiar with the parametric sections. In the new window, you can find the already created sections in the list on the left, such as the EPE 450 beam of the external columns. The second entry in the list has been created automatically by RFEM as a placeholder. We will now adjust it to our specifications. We go to the Parametric, Thin Walled tab. Here we can either enter the desired parameters of the geometry manually or import them from an existing standardized section. We click the Import Parameters from Standardized Section icon and look for an EPE 400 beam. We confirm the entry by clicking OK. Now the geometry of the standardized section has been adopted and we can change it as desired. When we are finished with the taper's geometry, we can copy this section in the list on the left using the respective symbol to define the section for the rest of the member. For the copied section, we adjust the height accordingly and confirm the entry by clicking OK. Thus, we have defined two new sections that we have to assign to the member start and the member end. The bitmap on the right of the window shows the entire member. We confirm the created roof beam by clicking OK and insert it by first clicking the column head and then the previously created node. The order is very important because the taper is defined at the member start. We exit the input by right clicking. Since we are modeling a 3D hull, it must be sufficiently stiffened. In order to be able to insert bracings and purlins more efficiently during this tutorial series, we will add internal nodes to the two members. We have several options for this. We decide to simply divide the members into N intermediate nodes by right clicking. We activate the node on member option so that nodes are created on the members without dividing them. We divide the column and the roof beam into one and two nodes, respectively. Now we would like to complete the 2D frame. To do this, we do not have to go through all the steps again we can mirror half of the frame to the other side. We select the complete structural model and click the mirror icon. In the new dialog box, we activate the create copy option so that half of the frame is copied. In the mirroring parameters area, we leave the coordinate system at the default setting and select the desired mirroring plane. Afterwards, we have to enter the coordinates of the mirroring point or click the point on the structural model using the respective symbol.
We click OK to perform the mirroring. The first 2D frame is inserted. In the next video, we will continue the modeling. Till next time.